deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah PXT. So real quick, uh, we're gonna do a quick announcement because uh, I decided to do something else with Abyss. Um, for people who don't know, PXT Abyss is gonna be our uh, next big show. Our big show, well this big show is gonna be our first ever wildcard big show, which means everything's random, including who gets a title opportunity. Anybody that joins from now till next Sunday will have an opportunity to go for the PXC title or the PXC YouTube Championship. With this said, I have decided to open that door a little bit more. Not for those two titles. Instead, I am introducing the PXC TikTok Championship. That's right. We have a third championship now. <laughs> and uh, that that's not that's not all. That is actually not all. Um, we have a special guest here today as I well. Agree. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is. Would you like to introduce yourself, actually? Before I mess up or butcher your name. MTW's announcer, D Mob. You don't have to where I can include my audio. Uh, well, actually, uh, because it's not on the actual Xbox, it's through my laptop, so otherwise they could just hear you right now. <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. This is MTW's very own D Mob. AKA the hardcore icon. Yes, he's a, he's the newest member in PXC. He uh, also is going to be competing tonight in a division switch, or not division switch match, sorry, division uh, placement match. Reason I'm all like freaked out right now is because this is probably the biggest show we've had because uh, this past week we actually signed five PXC signees. So we have five new PXC signees. And holy mother of God, that's the biggest we've probably ever gotten. So in other words, the whole show was filled with uh, placement matches today. <laughs> At hell, maybe we'll have one hell of a show here tonight. Yes, because uh, tonight, actually, not just the division placement matches, which we have three of them. Uh, we also have the PXC YouTube Championship being defended by C. Jill going against Jake Lawler here tonight. He earned an opportunity back at Hellfire and uh, he's actually cashing it in even though when they uh, had their one-on-one -on -one, uh, <laughs> mm, Lawler got fucking flattened. Uh, he still earned the title shot so he is still cashing it in. And then the main event it will be Bones uh, last title defense before Abyss against Carlo Mendez. Again, Carlo Mendez also did win a title opportunity for the PXC Championship at PXC Hellfire. So we are cashing in their two title shots this night, and then next week at PXC Abyss will be anybody's game to go for any of those titles. And yes, we have the PXC TikTok Championship, which means the door is open for anybody to become a champion here at PXC. I want to point something else out. Because of how many people we have in PXC now, we also can open the door to the PXC Tag Team Division, which means, yes, there is going to be PXC Tag Team titles as well. Yes, a lot more championships now. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be something. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad to be here on this night. Joining you for the first time here on PXT. And we never know what's gonna happen. Yes, that's 100% true. Because tonight we are starting off between uh, Jack Flo and Ace. The reason this match is going on because the past couple weeks, the syndicate, the division, or not division, the actual faction here run by Satoshi Makoto has been trying to recruit both Jack Flo and Shane Henry into their faction. So, tonight Jack just wants to probably like shut that opportunity or shut them up entirely by putting down Ace. Now I also want to point out, uh, we did try changing the arena. It did not fix the entrances. <laughs> It didn't fix the entrances at all, it so sadly. It never does. This is too. Scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we have a uh, we have two people that have like the car entrance and then somebody coming in from the entrance, and holy fuck, it it just it it doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Right. 
Wait, Shane's not out there? That means Shane's competing tonight? Sadly, no, because we have a lot of division matches. There's actually going to be a lot of new wrestlers competing tonight, besides the last two matches of the night. Those will be our title matches. But tonight, Jack Flo coming in representing uh, pretty much the Joker. It is uh, his Halloween design. Uh, you'll probably see him at the end of the month in his regular design, D-Mop, so just heads up there. Okay, okay. And as you can tell, he, uh, he's gonna say a lot of Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then his opponent, Ace. Now, Ace came into PXT pretty much thinking that he was gonna be, well, the next big thing, but then uh, he got into a bad deal with Satoshi, and now he's part of the Syndicate. Uh, in case you're new here to PXT, or performing D Mob, in other words, uh, the Syndicate is pretty much the mafia of PXT. <laughs> And Satoshi is the crime boss of PXC, looking to expand his faction as much as possible, whether they agree to it or not. Ace is uh, one of the few that did not, but because of losing the match at Biowar, he is now part Bacchiato. of the Syndicate. Bacchiato back there looking like Freddy Krueger in the background. Hey man, look, he was part of the Yakuza. <laughs> He's trying to keep it low. <laughs> <laughs> Man, honestly, I, I still believe this to this day, that if Ace was not part of the Syndicate, he would have already had a title opportunity, probably for the PXC Championship. But, because he's stuck in this whole faction, I mean, it really holds him back. But, with that said, when Satoshi's at ringside for him, he technically hasn't lost a match, so... Good, bad, either or. Here we go, going in a way, Jack Flo already starting it strong with big strikes, and getting it with a big DDT! And oh my already, goodness, what a way to start this match off. <clears throat> yeah, Jack's already going straight up at it. And now looking to attack the arm. Bringing him down. Looking to just do a little bit of damage. Probably looking to stop him from, uh, or probably hurt himself when he tries going for his finishing move. He calls it the Memento Mori. It's pretty much a springboard clothesline. So there's probably looking to maybe buy him some time if he does get hit with it. Maybe. <laughs> oh, definitely trying to buy that time. All that he can buy. And Ace is a... Uh, oh no, there it is. Now Ace looking to take charge. Getting Jake up on his shoulders. Now dropping him face first on to the corner there. Oof. That's going to leave a mark. Ooh. Big maneuver right there from Ace. And now looking... Okay, so... Soft kick there, but I guess if it were I, okay, I don't know what the hell that was, but hey, you know what? Botches happen. <laughs> All right, Ace going under. Oh, oh, catching him into a spine buster. That's actually new from Ace. We have not seen Ace ever do a spine buster here in PXT. One, no, only gets the one count. Yes, it does. All right, well now Ace taking control, now doing some damage onto the back. Yes, he is. Ooh, Jake catching him with a big knee up to the face. Holy mother. Is Drew competing tonight? Yes, Drew is actually competing tonight because last week, they uh, both him and Jack Flo technically did not get placed last week. So, oh, sorry, not Jack Flo. Uh, Jacob... Wildfire, because they did not get placed last week, they're actually going to be competing tonight to see who will be placed in the PXC tile division and the YouTube tile division. Which again, I also want to point out, those two titles are actually being defended tonight. So, big, big night we have here at PXC. Oh, big forearm from Ace. Right now, Ace is taking full advantage, and I want to point out, he is not actually getting any help from Satoshi right now, which is it's probably him showing that he doesn't need Satoshi out there. Oh, That doesn't oh. mean he's not going to help him out later. Uh, honestly, that's a good question, because Satoshi has been a little bit on and off about having Ace now in here, because lately... Oh, wait, wait, whoa, wait, what's it? Oh, okay, okay. So I think Satoshi's... Playing mind games with him. I honestly don't know what was going on there. I think he was playing mind games with Jack. Oh, again, That's Jack. Like it. Jack again with a big knee there. Mm. Jack getting Ace in the gut now. Tossing Ace back into the middle of the ring. 
Oh, and again, I think he was trying to go for the... Man, he's been really going for those running, like, jump knee shots. I really don't even know what they call them, really, but holy crap. Ooh! Big suplex from Ace. And now Ace is taking control, doing some damage to the head of Jack. And... Oh, oh! Okay, I thought we were going to see Memento Mori, but he goes for a springboard drop kick out of nowhere. Is that enough to put Jack Flo down? No, it is not. Jack Flo is still going and rolls out of the ring. Ooh. Big elbow shot, and look at this. Big DDT from Jack onto the outside. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Jack coming in with a series of strikes. And again, another big knee to the face of Ace. Yes, I know it rhymed. Go with it. It's a jumping knee strike. Oh, gotcha. He's the face Ace. Oh, my God. Well, now, man, he's really doing damage to the head there. Honestly, he's probably setting up for his flow of motion. It's a submission move that he has. That he did use last week to actually make Satoshi tap out. Jack honestly been doing an exceptional job here ever since his debut. When he debuted, he went against the Lumberjack. He did come up short, but he gave one hell of a fight. Ooh, big neckbreaker on the outside. And honestly, you know, ever since then, they are at exceptionally well in PXC. Ace has been around here and there. Still sort of new to the whole wrestling business, but he has improved as much as possible. Again, I think if he just wasn't stuck with the syndicate, he could grow so much farther. But egg, he has to he has to go through with the deal he signed. Yes, he does. <laughs> Oh, Jack. Oh, there it is. Jack's going for the flow of motion, looking to make Ace tap out oh, here tonight. My. Again, is just want to point out, Satoshi's actually not helping at all in this. At all. <laughs> Comparing to the first time Satoshi was at ringside for Ace, he distracted the ref, he threw in weapons, everything. This time around, Satoshi's actually not doing anything. Oh, both men colliding. I think they... I think Ace was a little bit late on a move there. I'm not completely sure what happened. I'm not either. Oh, Ace coming in with a series of maneuvers and gets Jack down. Oh, my. Oh, I, I, I think both men missed big moves there, but hey, you know what? It happened. All right. Sometimes... It happens. That's all you can uh -oh. do. Uh, looks like... Oh, okay. I, I think Jack was a little too too far for whatever he was setting up there. But catches him into a suplex. Okay, thought he was going to go for a bridge pin there. Doesn't get it. Now Jack's looking to go to the top rope. Going big with a close line from the top rope. Looking to make Ace tap out here tonight. Oh, look at this. Putting a lot more pressure with that. Ace taps out. And Jack has now made both Ace and Satoshi tap out here in PXC. Wow. What a way to start off the night. Look at this. Uh, you, can, you can tell Satoshi is uh, is not happy at all. Oh no, that's just that's just how he is. And now, again, the question is, where's Shane gonna fall? Because Shane wasn't even out here tonight for his brother's match. So now that's the question. We're saying, where's Shane's loyalty is gonna lie? You know, is he gonna stay loyal to the family, or is he just gonna go on to the syndicate? Now we are going on to our next. Uh, well, not even match. I guess technically event. Gen X says. Uh, has been talking a lot, if you will. Yes, uh, for people who don't know, Gen X is a former mixed martial arts fighter. He came to PXT wanting to show everyone that he is the next generation of wrestling, but he is uh, he's done nothing but absolutely come up short. <laughs> if anything, I believe he only has, I believe, four pits in his whole career, and now he is uh, looking to make a proclamation here tonight.
There he is, Gen X. Gen X is a. Uh, oof, oof. According to our uh, PXC fans here, they uh, mainly call him, instead of the next generation of wrestling, they call him the bitch of PXC. Which makes a lot of sense. All he does is pretty much, uh, you know, you know, yeah, complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is Rocky going to fight tonight? Uh, sadly, Rocky is not going to fight tonight, only because, like I said, there is a lot of new talent here, so there's going to be a lot of division placement matches. So pretty much, uh, it's a whole new cast with PXC tonight. Which is why you have a new commentator here tonight. Yep. New commentator, D-Mob. Woo! Who is oh. also a computer. Yes, uh... He is part of the Mountaintop Wrestling Division. They do uh, PvP Wrestling, so if you guys ever want to go and check that out, if you guys are interested in possibly testing out your skills, there you go. Oh my, and it is beyond, hopefully, Michael Wolf. Everybody asks, who's behind that door? As he asked the question, that means we have two people that come behind the door. Because we already have an entity called Desmond Flood that comes behind the door, and it looks like. Is there more beings? Possibly. One of the hottest signings from MTW. Michael Wolf, as what we've been told, is a man that believes in pure dominance. Doesn't even believe on going for titles now unless it piques his interest. Or, or unless it benefits him. He saw otherworldly, somehow the lantern just went away. Hey, do not, do not underestimate the supernatural ability of Michael Wolf. He is unhuman. Seems like it, because now, now candles popped up. They replaced the door! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's probably more otherworldly than Desmond, because Desmond, Desmond's just like freaky. So otherworldly, he just skips a frame. <laughs> he's so good, he skips a frame. He is one step ahead of everybody. This one's my favorite. He looks like a cowboy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of people, a lot of people say he looks like Rob Zombie. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people say that. Oh, Gen X already. It looks like Gen X already coming in. Not even phased by Michael Wolf. Okay, okay. Looks like. Gen X apparently just wanting to embarrass him a little bit. This is this is the typical MO of Gen X. He believes in pretty I'm much gonna just tell you right now, he's gonna do nothing but piss Michael Wolf off. And like I said, that is pretty much the whole thing about Gen X. He believes in just full on embarrassing his opponent. He believes he's the best in the world and he tries to show it out of nowhere. Heck he tried it against Mox. He came up short with that. Right oh my Holy crap, right now he's going crazy. The, the spikes on Michael Wolf's elbow pads. Is that legal? I want to say yes. <laughs> hey, look, he's going against Gen X at this point. I think it's completely fine right now. Looks like Michael Wolf looking to make a bit of a comeback and now looking to embarrass Gen X. Oh, I told you he was going to do nothing but piss him off. And it looks like he's paying for it now. Wrenching the arm of Gen X, Gen X slowly getting up. Okay, see, Michael Wolf was playing there. He was playing with his food for a little bit there. Oh, ooh. Oh, definitely. Gen X coming in with a wheelbarrow now for a pin. Yeah, I know that's not the actual name of it, but you know what? It works. Oh, 
Ooh, dealing damage to the arm of Michael Wolf. Right now, Gen X is, uh, surprisingly, Gen X is actually, ta oh, wow, again, showing disrespect to Michael Wolf, dragging his face on the canvas of the ring. Oh, it's the big boot and now goes for the pin. No, Michael Wolf quickly kicks out. Gen X surprise! Oh my God! Comes in with a knee from the middle rope. Oh my! Gen X is doing. I'm actually impressed how well Gen X is actually keeping control of this match. Normally, whenever he goes against another worldly being, he doesn't do well. Right now, he's surprisingly doing pretty decent. Catch him with a neck I breaker. Feel like Michael, I feel like Michael Wolf is trying to test the waters here. Possibly. Oh, Gen X got him up. And ladies and gentlemen, this is next gen. Is that enough to put down Michael Wolf? One, two, three. And uh, it was. Okay, maybe this wasn't Michael Wolf's night here tonight. That's a, yeah, I'm actually surprised. Holy shit. Oh, no, he, he, is, he is not. Now, the question is is Michael Wolf playing with him? Is he getting his hopes up? Maybe. 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 We, we, we've seen Stranger Things, like last week. Yeah, quick recap of last week's episode. Last week's episode, uh, we had the PXT Championship match between former champion Rodrigo and Bone Tubular. And Rodrigo had control of the entire match. But then when they went on the outside, he did a lot more damage to the champion. Instead of going... Well, like, bringing him back in the ring, one, two, three. Instead, he went back into the ring and went for the count-out victory. Surprisingly. So, I don't know what's been going on here at PXT. I don't know if it's the Halloween season, but there, there's some, I don't know, maybe there's some mis mischief going on between some of the wrestlers here. Maybe they got bigger plans. But either way, now it's on to one of the first... PXC placement matches. Now again, if you guys didn't miss it, we're gonna explain it again. I gotta set it up actually. So while I explain it, I will set it up. So the way we do PXC placements. Yeah, go ahead. So the way we do PXC placement matches is that they are not pretty much earned by like, oh, whoever wins gets to pretty much be like, I'm going to the PXC Tower Division. Nah, that's 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 too easy. So we leave it on a base of chance. So we pretty much set up a Duta, or two, I don't even know what the fuck I said there for a second. <laughs> a two die. So where one is the PXC title, and then two is the YouTube title division. Now I do want to point out, both divisions are actually exceptionally well, especially because the YouTube champion right now, somehow, I don't know how he is, is 7-0 and o in PXC. He has not been pinned in PXC. <laughs> Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce one of the new signees of PXC, Michael Slade. Now, from what we know about Michael Slade, he has been everywhere. And he has made names of himself as a heel everywhere. But apparently, the last couple promotions he did in NJW, he, New Japan, he was working a lot more as a heel and, not heel, face. <laughs> and that is how he uh, lost his championship. <laughs> now he looks to make a fresh new star here in PXT. Oh, oh hey. Now the question is very cocky. Oh yeah, that's where this question comes in. Is he gonna be enough? For this man coming out? Yes. I don't know. Because this man coming out is one of MPW's baddest man. And it's your current MPW on board temple. Ladies and gentlemen, hardcore icon, Dima.
Yeah, I could be on commentary one day. Same. What if? Oh yeah, well maybe. Yeah, if anything, we could probably do like a whole watch point. If anything, we could probably do that for this. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, one thing I was debating on doing, this is uh, sort of breaking the whole PXT fourth wall, it's probably doing a uh, full-on watch party for like the pay-per-views and stuff like that, but uh, I won't be able to show the pay-per-view, just heads up there, but eh, that'd be pretty cool. Just debating on it, just, just been debating on it. Bob looks to make an impact here at PXT. Ladies and gentlemen, everywhere this man right here has been... He has been a true icon over here. As you can see on his screen, he is part of icon of the race. This man is the hardcore icon. He's here at PXC looking, as I said, to make an impact. And honestly, who knows, possibly could be a future PXC champion. Would it put it past? Bang, bang. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, D Mob getting control and already taking control of the match. Laid already down. Okay, D. Holy crap. Okay, D Mob's, uh, like I said, not holding back here. Showing everyone why he's here at PXC. Comes in with a big clothesline to Slade. Slade just has not been able to. Oh! Take off here tonight. And it looks like D-Mob is sending Slade spinning. Oh my. D-Mob, that D-Mob came in full on fired up. Yes he did. And here we go, we're going swinging. Okay, Slade looked to have caught D Mob for a second there, but D Mob quickly coming back. Oh, Slade, Slade saying no, Slade saying no, Slade coming back at it and gets him up and drops him back first onto his knee. Slade, uh, okay, if I was Slade, I wouldn't be taunting. I mean, he's been struggling getting off of this match. If I was him, I would have kept more control on D Mob. Especially. When you're in the ring with a, vet a well seasoned veteran like D Mob. Well, there is D Mob coming with a gut punch first and now gets him set up for snap suplex. Oh my. I think uh, I think this is showing. Nick Slade was showing a little bit of his heel side there and it might it might have just cost him. Okay, yeah, that's no problem, Shane. That's all good. Yeah, because, like I said, yeah, that was going to happen regardless. Oh! Right now, D-Mob. D-Mob well in control this match. Yeah, D-Mob's just full-on control. Slade has not done anything in this match or so far. But this, this is showing... They're just showing that D-Mob is a veteran in the ring for a reason. There's a reason he's an icon. Oh! Comes in quick and quickly goes for the pin against Slade. Is that enough to put Slade down? No! Oh my! And there it is! I want to point out, though, it might be hard for the viewers on PXC to hear this. The crowd are chanting, fight forever, so they are loving D-Mob and Slade here tonight. And uh, again, Slade, Slade is just trying to be, I guess, cocky. I guess trying to go back to his <laughs> heel roots, but again gets punished by D-Mob. Ooh! Okay, Slade coming out with the Spine Buster. Now going for the pin, thinking that's enough to put the Icon down. No. Definitely not. Now, D-Mob is showing exceptional ring veteranness right now. Because Slade, Slade is a... Uh, oof. I think Slade looked like a rookie. <laughs> D-Mob may be new here, but he is not new to any ring. 
Yes, it, it's showing right now. If anything, I would say if it's mainly... Sh I think Slade's actually getting frustrated right now. I was about to say that's making Slade look like a newbie, but Slade's now dishing a little bit of punishment, but Demob's not taking it no more. Reverse it. Oh, no, Slade. Slade looking to make a little bit of a comeback. I believe now he's getting a little bit frustrated with how the match turning out. Comes with a big punch to the face of Demob. Demob rolls out, but Slade goes to the top. Looks to continue punishment here. Oh, he misses though. And Demob's now taking advantage of the miss. Oh. Oh. Big kick there, and again, Demob is just full on taking control of the match. <laughs> Slade yeah, has been. Yeah. yeah, Slade has been really struggling to take off here tonight. Oh, get Slade into another soup. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're setting up for another suplex, but ladies and gentlemen, I believe. Again, honoring the late great Eddie Guerrero, but Slade's foot was underneath the bottom rope, so it was a rope break. Oh! Slade reverses, and now Slade is taking control of the match. Slade gets him up and hits him. Oh! With a. I, da, 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 da. I don't know the name of the move. I'm going to just say it was an AA. And. I'm actually shocked right now. <gasps> Slade out of nowhere brought him back <laughs> with an AA. Holy shit. What? What? Maybe that was all that he had left. It's that AA. Maybe. Maybe that was the plan that he had. Maybe that's what it was. He was making Demob just waste all that energy and then just win him with one big hit. Holy mother of God, that's actually surprising. Well, congratulations to Michael Slade on the win. Holy crap, but now it's time to see where Michael Slade will round up to. That's right, so we're gonna pretty much roll this. It's hard to see on the live stream, but it's a little dice here. We're gonna roll it and see uh, where the hell he goes. We're gonna roll it a good number here. So we're gonna roll it 30 times. And with this, Michael Slade has been placed into the PXT title division. So with that, D-Mob will be placed into the YouTube title division. But even with that said, <laughs> he has an opportunity to put a one on CGL's record. If CGL doesn't lose tonight. But either way, now it's on to our second division placement match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Now... But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is on to our next match of the night. Hey gentlemen, we introduce everybody to Mike Evans! Mike Evans comes from New Japan Wrestling. He made a name for himself there. He gone here, gone there. He's gone everywhere. Oh, just like every new signee. Yeah, just like every new signee comes here to PXC to make a name. I think a firework might have hit a fan in the face. Eh, yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> that'll be fine. Last week we had appearing the fireworks in the actual crowd. We didn't get sued yet. Shh. Hopefully, hopefully they got insurance. At the end, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, we're getting calls. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Nah, they're fine. <laughs> All right, now introducing, now introducing Mike Evans, opponent here tonight in PXT. We introduce everybody to Smooth Marino. Smooth Marino is a former UFC champion. He comes here to PXC to show his talents. Pretty much wants to. He's been hearing some rumors about Gen X saying he's making a name for himself here in PXC. But. I, but. I, I, I like this guy's style. Yeah. Supreme, man. It's the, the best style out there. <laughs> he, got, he got the mud and cops going. 
got that beard going into it. And I really like that jacket. He was one of the hottest stars in the UFC space, and now he comes here to make a name for himself in PXT. Bali, again, getting the idea from Gen X. Gen X also, well, for mixed martial arts, he never actually went to the UFC. Where Smooth Marino is a former UFC champion. Marino looks ready to probably be placed in uh, one of the big title divisions here tonight. God damn, he's jacked. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth Marino versus Mike Evans here tonight. Oh, no. Oh. God damn, gets him with a big ass uppercut and already big punch, smooth, already getting control. But Mike, oh, looking to make a comeback. Coming in with a little bit of series of strikes, already getting pumped up. Oh, smooth not having it though. Smooth is not having it though. Ooh. Oh my god. I think, uh, now thinking about it, this might actually benefit Smooth a little bit because Smooth isn't refined to like the rules of a cage. So he can go as brutal as he wants technically. I mean, not to where like the five count is not involved, but my God, he is showing absolute dominance against Mike Evans right now. Uh, my, Mike's just running. Oh no. Mike was playing a little bit of diversion and now gets him with a suplex on the outside. Mike Evans looking to gain control, but Smooth's not taking it. Ooh. That's definitely gonna leave a mark in the morning. Oh yeah. My god, he hits he hits hard. Who's just saying full control of the match? Mike slowly getting like opportunities to reverse it and looking to take advantage now. Doing some damage to the former UFC champion. Oh big punch there. Ooh. Big elbow to the face of Mike Evans, and now sends him into the barricade. I just realized <laughs> when I changed the arena, apparently it did change because uh, we don't have steel barricades no more. Huh. Oh, sends him gut first on our steel steps. Oh, there's an eight count, though. Smooth just, smooth just saying screw it, gets back in the ring. <laughs> but Mike's not going to take it. He makes it before the count, takes him out of the match. Ooh, beautiful knee shot from Mike Evans. Mike Evans looking to now take advantage of the match. Come back at it, damaging the arm. We're going to probably take away his striking power. That's probably what Mike Evans is looking to do, but doesn't understand that Smooth has good stamina and already Smooth has gotten back control of the match. Oh, wait, Mike Evans looking. Oh, claiming it back to... Mike Evans already claiming back control. Gets smooth up and sets him up with a big... Oh, shh. Is he okay? All parts of his neck hit all three of the ropes. Oh! Big maneuver there. Is that enough to put smooth down? One, two, three. And this... Okay, this is actually very surprising here tonight. This is a lot of, like, one move endings. Holy crap. I know. These men are putting it all on the line here tonight. Man, everyone just wanted to make a big show here tonight for PXT. Holy crap, with that Mike Evans. Man, a lot of shocking, because it goes one-sided and then immediately, <laughs> immediately gets everything put into the final move. And with that, Mike Evans wins the match against Smooth. Holy shit. All right, well, now it's time to see where Mike Evans falls. Will he fall into the PXC tile division or the YouTube tile division? Let's check it out. With this, Mike Evans falls into the PXC YouTube tile division. That means Smooth Marino will be placed into the PXC title division. Congratulations to Mike Evans, oh, but now it is means, on. That means yeah. he is in there with Dima. Oh, yes, that, that is actually what it means. But now it's on to... Um, Match between two wrestlers that did fight last week. They put on a hell of a show last week in a triple threat match. Uh, it was the first ever <laughs> triple threat 
new signee match. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to workshop the name. But it was our first ever match to where Rocky Murakano picked up the victory, uh, literally living by the creed he uh, grew up with, lie, cheat, and steal, and stole the victory. <laughs> It was beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. That whole match was beautiful. But that left Drew and Jacob Wildfire in a situation to where they were not placed. So because of that, tonight they are going to be placed. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight it is Drew Jeffrey versus Jacob T, or correction, Jacob Twisted Wildfire here tonight. His wife. In other words, uh, gotta let someone in chat know. Shane, calm down. <laughs> because now, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce the dashing dragon himself. Drew Jeffrey. Now, I do want to point out here, Drew Jeffrey technically had the triple threat match one. He hit him with the dashing flame. And uh, it, it, it did it did put him down. My golden dad. God damn it! No shit. No back. <laughs> we'll put that down. <laughs> but with that, as I was saying, uh, pretty much Drew Jeffrey did have the match won, but Rocky Mercado literally living by the creed that he was born and bred by. Light cheating still, stole the victory, and now Drew Jeffrey has to face off against Jacob Twisted Wildfire. Love the match coming back stronger. Oh yeah, no, honestly, Smooth gave, he was going full on at it. He was coming in with big ass strikes. If anything, the only thing I can say is that he probably did exactly what D-Mob did, which was probably exert too much energy to where his opponent just, Whoa, I'm not gay. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Drew, look, it's it's just you're so dad. You're like the Ryan Reynolds, Drew. That's how it works. You're like the Ryan <laughs> Reynolds of PXT. Uh, it's the reason you're the dashing dragon. <laughs> but now he's gonna have to deal with a being born in the wildfires. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jacob Twisted Wildfire. Same, he's freebie like Ryan Reynolds. God damn it. <laughs> and again, the chat is showing, it is just showing that <laughs> that uh, every person, man, woman, I was going to say man and woman because if I saw the other one, that's going to sound weird, just wants a true Jeffrey. <laughs> uh. He would be a good one. This guy here. Oh, Jacob Wildfire. Yeah, Jacob Wildfire came in. Oh, God, he came in exceptionally well. Smooth Marino, next PXT champion. Hey, there's actually a possible chance with uh, next week's. Big Show, other words are a pay-per-view, if you will. There's actually a chance to where he could actually pick up a championship. Just like everybody else that signs with PXT from now till uh, the next show. Wildfire just looks ready. He's just in the zone at this point. I think Wildfire didn't like that technically he did. Not only did he got pinned by Rocky Marino, but that the Dashing Dragon himself was the one that knocked him out. Ooh. They form to the back. And right now, oh my, oh my god. Okay. Okay, Wildfire is really oh, pissed off man. at Drew. Holy shit. Okay, immediately goes for the pin against Drew. Only gets a one count. Trying to end this quick. In my house at 10. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Drew, you're married. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, look at this. Right now. Jacob already. Jacob's already taking full on control. Jacob is probably absolutely pissed because not only did he lose in last week's match, but technically Drew was the one that put him down. But Drew's coming back at it with full force, too. Already got Jacob Tristan Wildfire down. 
Comes in with a big knee to the face. One thing I gotta say, you gotta commend Drew that he's a... Oh, okay. Already. Got him in the corner. No, no, got him on the ropes. And already gets Jacob Wildfire out. But like I was saying, you got to give Drew's props. He's he's been with a big adversary, and he's not holding back. He's still going at it. Oh, drop yeah, face first. Onto, drop face first on the hardest part of the ring. Uh, inverted DDT? I mean, when I say inverted DDT, I could be wrong on that one. Ooh, oh my god, that was that wasn't even on the chest. That was like on the gut of Drew. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna have a stomach egg after this one. Oh, I, guess, I think I think it just showed Jacob's probably used to facing men on his own size because he missed the last shot. It went over Drew's head. <laughs> but again, we gotta point this out. Drew was the one that did technically make him pinnable last week, so <laughs> Oh, it looks like uh -oh. he's pretty much streaking. Yeah, Jacob is controlling the whole match. Drew's coming out with a good bit of offense when he can, but he can't keep the control off Jacob. Oh, Jacob again. Oh, was going for a big elbow. Missed it though. Drew. <laughs> Drew was just stalking his prey there. Now go. Oh, small package suplex. Is that oh. enough? No. No, honestly, call me out if I'm saying the moves wrong, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told my chat too to call me out if I say the moves wrong. Oh, what's it? Oh! Oh, Drew's going for a crossface on Jacob. Is Jacob gonna tap All out right. here tonight? No, oh, Jacob we can't see oh okay, we couldn't see it there, but Jacob was able to get out of the crossface. Oh! Ooh, Jesus. Big, big punch in the face of Drew. Drew only gets a one, though. Holy crap, that was only a one? That was a big fucking punch. <laughs> Drew throwing. Oh, I... I, I don't know what happened. Holy sh... Okay, big spear oh, right there. Man. Spear right there from Jacob. But again... Drew, this is probably not a good time to be taunting. The mat's still up! <laughs> Right now, Jacob gods Drew Jeffrey over his shoulders and drops him face first onto oh. the top rope. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right now, Jacob, Jacob is taking full control of this match, but I do want to point out there could be a chance here that we see. Oh, shit! Tristan Flames! It's the oh, Tristan no. Flames! Oh, on the outside, he got to get Drew back in the ring, though. Oh, shit, wait, Drew. Okay. He got hit with Tristan Flame, but Drew, Drew was unfazed. Again, gets dropped face first on the hardest part of the ring there. I think just trying to do some more damage to the head of Drew Jeffrey. Oh, it, ooh. Drops him face first on the outside of the ring. I also want to point out, uh, we updated the ring a little bit if you look at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> and now we're at a count of six. Ooh, big form. Uh, if I was both men on chat, oh, oh, look at that. They're just, I think they were talking shit to each other there. I think they were legit talking shit to that's, each other there. That's definitely what it looked like. Yeah, and Drew again was going at it, but again gets caught in a twisted flame. Jacob's oh. not messing around. I, I, again, Drew just is not phased by it. Drew is just not phased by the twisted flame here tonight. Ooh. Big show of disrespect from Jacob to Drew, and now Jacob going to the top. Oh! You can definitely tell these two do not like each other. Oh yeah, you you can obviously tell. Oh my God, yeah, that was that was enough. That was that big elbow from the trap was a, just enough. Oh my God! What? It looked like it hit the throat of Drew. You might, you might as well put the nail on the coffin because this man is dead. He dead out gone. Holy fuck! And Chad is not liking it. Immediately we got no. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like...
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Will we be seeing an alliance here? But now it is on to see where Jacob Twisted Wildfire will be placed in PXT. Will he be placed in the PXT title division or will he be placed in the YouTube title division? I think I said that twice. I don't... Either way. <laughs> and then with this, Jacob Wildfire is placed into the PXT title division, which means Drew Jeffrey will be placed into the PXT YouTube title division. Congratulations to Jacob Twisted Wildfire. Honestly, getting, getting some big big payback from our first match is actually for the pxt youtube championship jake lawler versus c jill ladies and gentlemen this match is for one fall and it is for the pxt youtube championship nothing now is gonna use transmission i bet your demon and michael wolf watching this match very closely Oh, for sure. Jake Lawler, again, known as the self-proclaimed god of wrestling. He was humbled three weeks ago and he's been struggling to come back with that momentum he had before, before the beginning of this month. And I believe uh, we're having a little bit of a protest for Drew Jeffrey. They're, they're saying he should be in the other division. <laughs> is Shane next in line for the YouTube Championship? That is an excellent question. <laughs> Jake Lawler looks, looks focused, but the real question is, is he ready? That, that's, that's the real question here. He looks focused, but is he actually ready? Is he actually 100% in his mindset? Not only is he going against the YouTube champion for the title this time around, but he, oh God, he got squashed another five minutes. Like, is he actually gonna be able to do it here tonight? Is he gonna be able to put down C. Jill once and for all? The question that he needs to ask himself when he gets in that ring is he needs not to worry about that five, less than five minute loss. He needs to focus on his opponent and and squash him. That's what he needs to do. That's what he needs to do. Nope. In all honesty, behind him. He, that's the thing though, against a man like C. Jill, because with the past matches we've seen with C. Jill, he's displayed absolute dominance he's gone against powerhouses he's gone against strikers he's gone against giants and every single time we think that this could be the person to put him down he absolutely demolishes them so the question is are we going to see a repeat of three weeks ago or are we actually going to have a full-on match here tonight that's the question because both men are exceptional strikers. The thing is, Sigil is a hybrid. He's a hybrid striker mixed with high flying, mixed with full on powerhouse. The man is just insane in general. And again, break a fourth wall here. I don't know what the fuck I did. He's just like that. <laughs> Sigil known as the White Viper of Russia. Continuing the legacy of his father. The late great Ejil. Yeah, no, not not good names. But either way, his father was former champion in Russia. Never lost the title. Sadly passed as a champion. No bad. Sigil looking to put more honor into his family's name. He's already done enough so far. He's undefeated. He's the PXC YouTube champion. What more can he do? <laughs> Defend his title here tonight and defend his family's honor. That's what he can do. Introducing his challenger, Jake Lawler. And Jake Lawler's opponent. He is the White Viper of Russia. He is the PXC YouTube Champion. C. Jill. I, I am I'm very concerned what's happening in the chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Huh. We gotta tie up the wife and kid. What the fuck? <laughs> there it is. Can Jake Lawler come back from possibly the most embarrassing loss of his career this time around? Can he put a one on C. Jill's record? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The PXC YouTube Championship match. And right now, Jake Lawler already comes in with a big strike and gets him with a big oh. suplex. All right, going for the pin immediately. One. Uh -oh. I, think, I think Jake is probably thinking... He has to really throw the champion off here, which is true. If he throws him off enough, he could possibly put a one on the record. Right now, Jake Lawler is having full control of the match. Which is surprising. We've actually never seen CJ struggle. CJ already coming in. Oh, with a big heel kick already to the face of Jake Lawler. And now it is just CJ taking control. Damaging the arm of Jake Lawler. Oh, CJ was already going to the top. Telling Lawler oh, to get up. Oh. This, okay. See, Jill's now just playing mind games at this point. <laughs> oh, this is the punch. Jake Lawler was able to get to stop himself from getting caught in the maneuver. And now goes in for a submission hold against the PXC YouTube champion. But see, Jill, nowhere close to phased enough for that. Oh, gets caught with the big knee. See, Jill, oh, now again, see, Jill's at this point now playing with Jake Lawler. And again, just, I think now, I think Jake, I think see, Jill's now just trying to make a statement. But as we've seen earlier, all right, playing with your food might not get you very far. That is true. That could happen again here tonight. Could we see the fight? Could we see CJ finally be pinned because of an ongoing thing that's been going on tonight? I mean, it's yeah, no, it's happened. So yeah, it's it. Oh God, they're getting out. CJ is just <laughs> disrespecting the self-proclaimed god of wrestling. Oh my God, those knee, those fucking knees of CJ, man. Very devastating. Very, very devastating. Oh, but look at this. I think CJ's taunting might have costed him now. Because now Jake Lawler. Oh, misses. Possibly misses. Big strike. But gets caught in the heel kick. And now CJ has Lawler down. Oh. And now, oh, gets caught a big forearm from the top of the rope. But that's not, oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're about to see oh, Father's no. Blessing. <coughs> Ooh. And now showing some little bit of ring veteranness from C. Jill, dragging him away from the ropes and going for the pin on Jake Lawler. Is that enough to put Jake Lawler down? And yes, it is. Oh wait, what the fuck? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, C. Jill continues his undefeated streak and continues being the PXT YouTube champion. My God, I, I think I think his momentum was just so low that he. <laughs> I, I legit don't even know, man. Holy crap! <laughs> Either way, congratulate C. Jill on continuing his title reign. But now the question is. Will that title reign continue after Abyss? Because as we said before, at PXC Abyss, it will be a full-on wildcard show to where literally anybody and everyone that joins from now to Abyss can possibly have a chance at any of the PXT championships. And we are introducing two new championships, which is the PXT Tag Team Divisions Championship and the TikTok Championship. It is now time to go on to our main event of the night. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. it is Carlo Mendez going against the PXT champion, Bone Tubular, to end the night. This match is for one fall, and it is for the PXT Championship.
Jeez. I'll pay you money if Shane can get a title shot either way. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look, it's all, it's, it's all <laughs> luck of the draw. We gotta see what happens. Carlo Mendez, a former triple A wrestler. Wrestled a lot of time in Mexico, actually, with his brothers, uh, the Mendez brothers, when they were a full-on group. He was the first to betray his brothers because he wanted more, way more glory. And he did become the triple A champion. Now comes here to uh, make some more, what he calls his title reigns, dynasties in PXT. Now the question is, can Carlo Mendez put down the high speed, high flyer Bone Tubular? Because Bone Tubular so far this past month has actually been a full on fighting champion and has not even come close to losing it. It's, oh, crazy. Oh. Now the oh. question is, can Carlo Mendes put him down? Who knows? We see some crazy upsets here tonight. Some big one-sided matches, actually. That's that's the that's the crazier thing. Yeah. Like take deep one side and then one move like, just keep a yeah, it's honestly not even gonna lie. It's actually pretty insane because usually the match lasts way longer than this. This is actually gonna be our, yeah, actually this will be our quickest episode of PXT ever. Oh, all right, we're good. I don't know. I hit. Damn, it didn't hit the record button. Yeah, well, I can redownload it. Oh, two really coming in, ready again to defend his PXT championship. But now the question is, is Bone is Bone a little off his game? Because last week, as we said, he did technically almost lose the championship, but because of Rodrigo playing mind games, I guess, I don't know, he's retained the title via countout. So is Bone actually in the right mindset? Is he thinking he is good enough? That's the question. Here's ladies and gentlemen for the PXT Championship. Again, breaking the fourth wall. Really wish I could work on the title a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> the challenger, Carlo Mendez, looking to start another dynasty, this time here in PXT. Again, that's what he calls his title reigns. But he's going to have no choice but to go against the current PXT champion. The one. The only. Bone Tubular! The first ever fighting PXT champion, literally. I think, well, no, not the longest reigning yet. If he survives this month, then yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I got a bit. Carlos Mendez looks focused. He does. I think he's focused on probably starting another dynasty. But as I said, this will be his first one in PXC. He's done it in AAA. Can he do it here? Mm. Here we go, Carlos Mendez. Oh, look at this. Okay, Carlos Mendez already throwing bone. <laughs> Do I throwing bone off? But oh, he probably took too much time. Oh. But. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. The one strike, Already? I guess, pissed off Carlo Mendez. And now Bone, oh. Coming in with a wheelbarrow set into a DDT, and now we're standing shooting star. Oh, again, going for the wheelbarrow, but this time a wheelbarrow bulldog. Oh, what a move there. Yeah, like we were saying. Bone can go fast if he wants, but even when he's not going fast, he can still do a good amount of damage. And I, okay, Bones, I think Bone was just showing that he's not taking the match completely serious right now. You don't want to point out, same thing sort of happened three weeks ago, just like Jake Lawler with C. Jill. Same thing sort of happened with Carlo Mendes and Bone. So maybe Bone's not taking the match seriously because he's already put down Carlo Mendes, but Carlo Mendes is already showing a lot more fight than he did. Three weeks ago. I gets caught in the gut right now, Bone. 
Cone having trouble not just taking off, but having trouble oh. keeping control. Carlo already full on controlling the PXC champion. Now the question is, are we gonna see a repeat of last week? What's our count right now? I mean, it's possible. Even though I wasn't here last week, but Yeah, we, we are at a count of six. Ooh. Oh Carlo oh, look, looks like Carlo was trying to run back into the ring. And we are now at a count of eight. Ooh. Carlo gets back. Okay, both men get back in. Okay, good. I got it. Because I'm not going to lie. I was going to restart the match. <laughs> We're not having that two weeks in a row. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, big DDT there. Carlo already. Okay, bone rolling out, needing a minute. And now look at this. Carlo taunting away. Oh, look at this. Oh, Bone. Again, taking back control. And now Carlo has to roll out. Comes back in. Oh, Five missing that. Time. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this. Carlo coming in with an abdominal... No, 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 not an abdominal stretch. Where's he going? Oh, this is something else. This is new. We have actually have not seen Carlo Mendes pull this maneuver off. Oh, my. But does not look like it's going to be enough to put the champ down, though. Oh! Big kick there. And, oh, it looks like Bones looking to go fast with a hair come out on the outside. Holy crap, that's actually new, too. <laughs> and the, again, because the chat could probably not hear it, but the crowd is saying that this is awesome. Yes, they are. These fans are behind this match. Oh, Mrs. Okay, Carlo looking to take advantage, looking to come back in it. Oh, Car okay, I think Carlo's realizing he's not going to make the same mistake that Rodrigo made. Or I can't even say mistake, but he's not going to pull off the same tactic, I guess you will. He wants to actually be a PXT champion. Oh, look at this. Going for the pin. Is that enough to put the PXT champion down, though? Ooh, stomping away on Bone's face here. Ooh, big drop kick. And right now, Car I gotta give props. Carlo Mendez is actually doing an exceptional well, keeping control of the match. Yes, he is. He's throwing the champion off his game. And Oaks. Him, but he is here to stay. A bone just got control back of the match and hits him with a big drop kick. Oh now, tossing Carlo to the corner. What's he planning here? What's Bone looking to do to his challenger here tonight? Oh, this is new! An avalanche! Wheelbarrow Bulldog! Is that enough to put down the challenger? Oh, is he going for a pit? No, he's not. I think Bones making a statement here. He already has the most successful title defenses compared to everybody that's held the PXC Championship. Which, no, isn't a lot, but he's showing that he's a fighting champion. Yes, he is. Ooh, big drop kick onto the back of Carlo Mendez. Ooh, Ooh Carlo doing a reversal of his own. Now, again, coming back into the ring. Now, I didn't think about this. Is he actually taunting? Oh, wait. Look at this. Bone Crusher from Bone. Is that enough? Oh, One. Two. Oh. Okay, we get a kick out. Fire. <laughs> he actually has some fighting spirit from Carlo Mendes. He kicks out of the Bone Crusher. Oh. I, okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Looks like Bone somehow missed the Moonsault. I don't know how. Oh, Carlo. Carlo's got punished from getting too pumped up. Now Bone's in control. Bone taking back control of the match. I think Bone's probably a little frustrated. He's probably thinking like, well, how come I can't get an easy match tonight? My goodness. Carlo. Carlo's showing determination here tonight, too. He's probably trying to do a lot better than what we could say Jake Lawler did. Oh, big suplex there. Oh, 
Oh, big punch right now. Now Carlo Mendez coming in with a series of punches here left and right. Now sending Bone to the corner. Oh, but gets reversed. Bone takes control back, but instead of, t instead of taking advantage, he just, he's just stalking Carlo Mendez. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, big chop from Carlo. Big series of punches again from Carlo Mendez. Another one, and now, oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nightfall from Carlo Mendez. Is that enough to put down Bone oh. Tubular? Could we have a new champion? Let's see, he's going for the pin here. Is this enough to put down the PXC champion here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? No, Bo Tuber the kicks out. Oh my goodness, what a match from these two, man. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's going for another nightfall. That's another right, nightfall. Right, right, right. Oh my God, right, is he actually? Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the match and new PXT champion, Carlo Mendez has put down Bone Tubular a week before the PXT of this. Holy fuck. <laughs> I cannot believe that. This has been a night of upset here in PXT. It has. Well, congratulations to Carlo Mendez on picking up the victory here tonight. Holy mother of God. Just full on shocking night here in PXC, because not only is it our shortest show ever, but holy mother. <laughs> it, it, tonight was tonight was a great night. It was a great night for PXC. Yeah, yeah it, it was. It was a crazy night. My first night here, and I'm absolutely blown away. Yeah, no, PXC, PXC is a, it's a, oof, it's a trip. <laughs> PXC is a trip, I will say that. But I'm glad that PXC is uh, kicking off as far as it is, and honestly, I am excited for next week's PXC. It's our big show. And again, I don't like calling pay-per-views because it sounds like I'm charging you guys. That's the only reason I don't call them that. I call them big shows. So, PXC Abyss will be happening next Sunday. Set... Well, at the same time, now it does depend if uh, stuff does come up because, as I did tell my chat and also told Deepop too, is that uh, I will be working this next couple weeks or this uh, next coming week. So I don't know if I'm working Sunday at all. If I'm working Sunday, then we'll probably have to move Abyss either back or we have to do it a little bit sooner. So I'll let you guys know what's going to be going on with that. Uh, if anything, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. I'll go live sometime later in the evening. But uh, yeah, that's it for PXT Abyss. I was going to say, do you want to promote a mountaintop team up? You want to go ahead? Oh, oh, so, like, guys, do not forget to come out and support Mountaintop Wrestling. You can see people like Michael Wolf, D-Mob, and some of the uh, people that you've seen here tonight, D-Mob and Michael Wolf, will also be competing later on here tonight, live on Twitch, uh, see Swizzle. 23 so come check us out and you will be seeing uh d -Bob and other competitors compete over there so come on over check us out and i also want to point out that uh their stuff is a bit more i want to say more intense because uh, their stuff is more well because y'all's is a pvp division right yes ours is player versus player um we uh we uh, we're working with uh you here to uh get us on youtube and start editing our shows and doing live shows you know like you know like he does here and everything so like we're trying to bring wrestling back to the mountaintop so come on and check us out that's it all right peace out guys take care have a great night Generation fueled by creation We live lives on a small screen nation We control the airwaves, no negotiation